What's up guys, it's me and happy new year. Today we are going to start with a topic from Curves and Fractals of Computer Graphics. These are some of my notes which I have prepared for myself and we'll just go through them. Uh, I'll explain uh, stuff that I already know. Guys, before that, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Let's start now. Curves and Fractals, mein, first we'll take a look at curves. What are curves? Curves means basically uh, anything which is not a straight line, right? Like something like this is a curve. A curve something like this, it takes a lot of effort, right? So how do we draw these uh, curves? We basically take a set of points and we try to kind of draw a curve through those points. This is what's uh, basically interpolation. If a curve is passing through its control points, then it is called as interpolation. Yeah, so these are the points, right? So in points, we say, wo hamesha pass karega. Hmm. Yeah, and then uh, I just included some uh, use cases. So this is used in animation, specifying motion, dig digitization of coordinates. This is actually used in uh, video editing as well. If you've ever worked with uh, the curves in uh, Snapseed, Google Snapseed, you may know what I'm talking about. Moving on. That was interpolation and this is extrapolation. Extrapolation may see the curve doesn't actually pass through the points, it, uh, the control points. What it does is it, it basically goes on control points ke pass se. So that's what it says ki if a control point does not pass, uh, if a curve does not pass through its control points and it approximates the shape then it's called extrapolation. So basically shape ap approximation hota hai pe. and this is actually a bit more efficient than uh, interpolating. Yeah, so uh, pe bhi, see it's used in making polygonal meshes as well and it's essential for uh, optimization and reduced, uh, this is level of detail. This is convex hull, so this is not really a part of uh, upar wale do, uh, upar ke do, the, those are basically types of curves okay uh, this is uh, the convex hull property which basically means ki if this is like the control point of the curve which i am drawing to curve hamesha is convex hull ke andar hona chahiye. that's what the property mean so if the curve is completely inside the convex hull it will satisfy the convex hull property. Blending function. Blending function is basically it determines how different curves and different pixels should be displayed when they overlap on a screen. So curve jab draw hota hai, to wo curve or pixels kaise dikhe, ye wo blending function function determine karta hai. This is something, uh, ye basically a general form hai, blending function ka. Let's take a look at Bezier curve. Bezier curve is this kind of thing where uh, two points are interpolated and uh, so ye wale jo end points are there, those are interpolated and the intermediate points are always extrapolated. Okay, uh, I drew it a bit ulta but idhar pe correctly bana hai. So these two points are interpolated and these two are extrapolated in Bezier curve. That's something you have to remember. Right? It was invented by Pierre Bezier at Renault. The main use is to make CAD design maze jo, uh, curves. Hot. Yeah, the blending function of Bezier curve is derived from Bernstein polynomials. Uh, kuch itna nahi hai. But this thing will be asked. Like there are uh, problems in previous year ke, uh, question papers I've seen. So this is important, I'd say. Then these are some properties of Bezier curve that the degree of curve is n minus 1 where n is the number of points. This is basic ln VT, okay? Lagrange's theorem. So say this is the curve. These are the control points, right? Draw a line through this. If you count the four places pay intersect, kar hai. it's like a curve of degree four, right? But the control points are one, two, three, four, and five. So patch control points hai and degree is four. This is a way you can remember this. Now moving on, the first and last points are uh, uh, interpolated and others are approximated. The Bezier curve basically satisfies the convex hull property. 
सो लाइक आई शोड यू द बेजिय कव ऊपर भी वॉट इट डज इज इट विल स्टे विद इन द कॉन्वेक्स हल सी आई ड्रॉन अ कॉन्वेक्स हल राइट ओवर हियर पूरा का पूरा कव इस कव के उस पॉलीगॉन के अंदर ही आ रहा है सेम गोज फॉर दिस कंट्रोल पॉइंट्स हैव डू नॉट हैव लोकल कंट्रोल चेंजिंग अ कंट्रोल पॉइंट विल चेंज द एंटायर कर्व पॉलिनोमियल स्मूथली फॉलोज द कर्व विदाउट मच ऑसोलेशन ऑसोलेशन इतना नहीं होता क्योंकि देर इज नो एस एस साइनोसॉइडल फंक्शन ओवर इट्स जस्ट पॉलिनोमियल इफ देर वॉज साइन देन मे बी आई पर्सनली डोंट हैव अ वेरी हाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ दैट वुड एक्चुअली कम एंड टू मूविंग ऑन Uh, reversing the order of control points will yield the same bezier uh, the limitations of bezier curve it uh, approximates the intermediate control points right so that is bad like ek to interpolation bhi nahi mil raha hai aur extrapolation pura bhi nahi mil raha hai like dono bhi pure pure nahi mil raha bezier curve has no local control what that means is ki ek ek uh, point ko thoda sa upar ya niche move kiya control point ko तो यू नो कर्व बस उसी जगह पे अफेक्ट होगा दैट डजेंट हैपन इन बेजियो कर्व इफ यू शिफ्ट वन वन पॉइंट थोड़ा सा भी ना द कर्व नीड्स टू बी रीड रॉन सो इट डज नॉट बेजियो कर्व डज नॉट हैव लोकल कंट्रोल डिग्री ऑफ द कर्व डिपेंड्स ऑन नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स व्हिच इज रियली हॉरेबल बिकॉज इफ यू हैव टेन पॉइंट आपको नाइन डिग्री का पॉलिनोमियल इवेल्युएट करना पड़ेगा इफ यू हैव हंड्रेड पॉइंट इट विल बी अ नाइनटी नाइन डिग्री का पॉलिनोमियल नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू क्यूबी cubic <laughs> let's now move on to cubic bezier curve uh, i've just added a few uh, components of this curve so that i mean they look good okay don't get me wrong i like these curves so these curves are basically what form a cubic bezier curve uh, you can derive this by the upar wala formula जो बाइनोमल थे वाला फॉर्मूला था ना ऊपर उसकी उसे उसी ही की ये सारे टर्म्स है सी ये जो फॉर्मूला है उसके ही ये सारे टर्म्स है ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड आई जस्ट मेड कर्व्स ऑफ देम टू शो कि इतना ही लाइक like, इतने ही सारे कर्व्स यूज करके वो बेजी कर्व बनता है आई एम नॉट सॉल्विंग दिस ऑन सॉफ्टवेयर या खुद से करो वो या क्लियरली आई एम वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग राइट सो बी स्प्लाइन कर्व स्प्लाइन कर्व आर मैथमेटिकल स्प्लाइन कर्व दैट आर मोस्टली यूज फॉर अप्रोक्सीमेटिंग शेप सो अप्रोक्सीमेटिंग शेप मतलब ये सारे कर्व एक्स्ट्रा पोलेटेड है ओके बी स्प्लाइन स्टैंड फॉर बेसिस फ्लाइन एज द कर्व इज डिफाइंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ अदर फंक्शन इसका आई डोंट थिंक या इसका वी डोंट हैव अ मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन बट देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज यू शुड नो फॉर बी स्प्लाइन फर्स्ट वन एंड द बेस्ट वन अबाउट बी स्प्लाइन इज दैट इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ कंट्रोल पॉइंट ये बेजियर में क्या था प्रपोर्शनल क्या डिग्री वॉज बेसिकली एन माइनस वन इसमें ऐसा है ही नहीं कि स्प्लाइन में दे सिंग की इट्स टोटली इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ कंट्रोल पॉइंट तो कितने भी पॉइंट्स लो डिग्री उससे अफेक्ट नहीं होने वाली बीस लाइन कर्व हैज लोकल कंट्रोल सो इट हैज लोकल कंट्रोल दिस मीन्स दैट एक छोटा सा पॉइंट ऊपर नीचे किया तो द एंटायर कर्व विल नॉट गेट रीड रॉन्ग ओके जस्ट वो पॉइंट थोड़ा अफेक्ट होगा मे बी थोड़ा सा ऊपर जाएगा या मे बी थोड़ा सा नीचे आएगा राइट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हाउ यू एडजस्टेड पूरा कर्व री ड्रॉ नहीं होगा एक्सप्लेन कर्व डू नॉट इंटरपोलेट एनी पॉइंट लाइक आई सेड पॉलिनोमल जनरेटेड हैज अ डिग्री डी माइनस वन विथ कॉन्टीन्यूटी सी टू द पावर डी माइनस टू आई जस्ट कैप दैट इन माइंड साइज ऑफ अ नॉट फैक्टर इज डी एन प्लस डी प्लस वन n is number of points t is degree and one is natural number b spline vectors can be uniform non uniform depending on size of the not vector so the not vector is a vector which basically defines the shape of b spline curves but b spline curves can be open or closed it can be aisa pura curve or at or it can be something like this which is kind of closed right it closes on itself 
मतलब क्या होता है ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन रेजिस्टेंट यू कुड से ऐसा कुछ बीस लाइन कर्व ओके एंड से आई एम आई वॉन्ट टू स्केल इट ओके स्केल एक्स टेन आई एम स्केलिंग दिस इतना पूरा बड़ा ओके सो द शेप ऑफ दिस हैज ऑलमोस्ट रिमेन द सेम राइट दैट्स वॉट दे मीन बाई बी स्प्लाइन कर्व कि दे प्रिजर्व द शेप आफ्टर अंडर सिंपल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ना विल टॉक अबाउट द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ बी स्प्लाइन कर्व सो नॉट एक्टर अगर इक्वी स्पेस टेस्ट वी गेट यूनिफॉर्म बी स्प्लाइन वी गेट ओपन बी स्प्लाइन वैन सक्सेस इज नॉट वैक्टर एक्सेप्ट द फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट वन आर इक्वी स्पेस एंड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म वी गेट तब जब जो नॉट वैक्टर है वो इंक्रीज ही होते जा रहे हैं monotonically increasing doesn't necessarily have to mean linearly increasing they just have to mean ki wo hamesha hi increase ho raha hai its first derivative is always positive or increasing ya yeah, positive only then we move on to fractals fractals uh, i think a lot of you know what fractals are we have a video on fractals which i made on qt creator coach snowflake or coach snowflake which ever one you prefer to use yeah, you should definitely watch that if you haven't uh, usme i go over some properties of fractals and you actually get to see wo fractals kaise dikhte hai right you get to look at them on in qt creator uh, but anyways if you don't want to see don't see we'll just move on with this so fractals are infinitely complex patterns that are self similar across different scales so fractals a fractal is basically an infinitely complex pattern and uh, matlab kya ki jaise jaise you zoom in into that fractal you get to see more and more details and it self similar matlab ki wo uh, details bhi fractal jaise hi dikhti hai as in as you zoom in or zoom out yeah so it's very trippy when you watch a fractal actually Fractals have uh, these two properties, which are already included. Upper, ki the self-similar and they have infinite detail at every point. Yeah. Then moving on to types of fractals, there are three types of fractals. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So first is self-similar fractal, just me. Uh, like exact or same pattern repeat होते जाते हैं. So that is the coach coach snowflake which we did. these are a few examples which are like kind of good if you get a chance uh, definitely check them out on google the images are really nice then moving on to self affine fractals a self affine fractal is a fractal which exhibits a similar pattern of itself but the scaling is different in all three dimensions this ka matlab kya ki so it's invariant teeno directions mein the scaling on it is not the same invariant set matlab uske upar transformation ka kuch farak nahi padta kitna bhi transformation kara lo translation kara lo scaling kara lo rotation kara lo it just doesn't give a fuck so uh, the mandelbrot and julia set are two good examples of this let's take a look at fractal dimension So fractal dimension is the amount of variation in detail that is described by fractal dimension. Amount of variation in detail, detail का spelling गलत है by the way. क्या हो रहा है? It is supposed to be detail. I wrote detail. Not sponsored. Yeah. So amount of variation in detail described by fractal dimension. Say ये वन बाई थ्री में डिवाइड होते जा रहे हैं दिस इज कोच कर्व सो इट गेट्स डिवाइडेड इन वन बाय थ्री वन बाय थ्री यहाँ पे एंड फिर यहाँ पे ऐसा ट्राइंगल आता है एंड इट अगेन गेट्स डिवाइडेड राइट यहाँ पे एंड यहाँ पे टू So that is kind of a level of detail which is getting added. So that's fractal dimensions. Now all that is left is uh, your Koch curve and uh, Hilbert curve. So Hilbert curve, basically, what you need to know about Hilbert curve is that it's a space filling curve. 
इसका मतलब क्या कि हिलबर्ट का उसके खुद के जैसे ही शेप्स वो बनाते जाते हैं एंड इट कम इट लाइक फिल्स द एंटायर स्पेस इट इज इनिशियली ऑक्यूपाइंग सो इसका मतलब ये जो टब है ना अभी इसमें मैंने एक हिलबर्ट फ्रैक्टल डाल दिया ऐसा सो so, ऐसा उसका शेप है तो व्हाट इट विल डू ऐसे शेप में इट विल सब डिवाइड ओके and so something like this it will do maybe aisa kuch and it will continue doing that yes until like the entire until the entire space has been filled theek hai tab tak ye aisa karta hi rahega and jab space fill ho jati hai then it will start over again and it will start filling or chote chote pieces inside the space so that till the end jab tak wo infinite detail achieve karta hai all the space inside that given the region has been completely occupied uh, that's a hilbert curve is called a uh, space filling curve it's also a continuous fractal okay and it was developed by a mathematician which is why it is ugly i bet the equation must be really, like really beautiful but also one more detail i missed out is that the koch curve is a triadic curve okay triadic curve matlab kya ki wo teen parts mein apne aap ko divide kar raha hai right initial fractal ki ek side ko so three parts is like tri triadic right? thanks for watching bye